to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Tom and today I'll be talking about SOLIDWORKS electrical and harnessing. The goal of, of this tech tip is to show a harness for this freezer unit. So I have some components inside my SOLIDWORKS assembly, but I want to define them in SOLIDWORKS electrical schematic. Inside a SOLIDWORKS electrical schematic, you can see that I've started drawing out my uh, schematic design for this harness. I have some connectors and I have wires. I do want to add one connection label for my uh, connector here. So if I come into component and insert connection label, I can go grab a connection label for the connector that's going to match my circuitry. So this will just show the top level 2D view of my uh, connector and it'll show where it's going out to, which in this case is the ice maker for the freezer. The next step to create the harness is to identify which connectors and which wires belong to the harness. For example here, all wires and connectors will be in the harness. So I can use a window select from right to left, right click on any wire, and select the option to add remove from harness. This will show me a selection in my command prompt of all the connectors and all the wires that I've selected. Once I hit the green check, it'll ask me to select a harness, which I don't have any right now. So I'll create a new harness, and I'll use a manual name just called Tech Tip. I'll add that to my project, and I'll assign the connectors and the wires to that new harness. All right, so now I have identified what my harness is going to comprise of, and I can go back into SOLIDWORKS. Because these two are connected, I don't have to do any other interference between these two. So from my SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D tab, I can start to route my harness, but I do just want to hide some of my freezer units so we can see this route a little bit better. All right, so we can see the internal components now. I'll select Route Harnesses from SOLIDWORKS 3D Electrical. I have all my harnesses selected, which was just the one. And I'll go in and show you that it is the tech tip harness that we're routing. I'll use my routing param parameters and we'll go ahead and route our harness. All right, after the route is complete, we can now see that we have a harness design inside of SOLIDWORKS. If I look at a couple of our bottom connectors here, we can see that our wires are stripped out of the harness when they have to be individuals, like this terminal. They also combine into the harness as they are connected. So we can see some more breakouts for each of our connectors. If we want to take this a step further, we can actually flatten our harness route. We'll do that from our electrical tab, and we'll select flatten route, and this will launch a sub-assembly of our harness. So I can now see all my connectors that are isolated from our main assembly. And I want to take this 3D assembly and flatten it. So I'll go ahead and select my green check. And what that'll do, it'll show me an optimal drawing of my flattened route. So now I can see each connector and each wire that's going to our terminal or to our connection points. All right. Using this, if I select flatten route one more time, I'll be able to create a complete drawing of our flattened route assembly. And in this one, I want to include a bill of materials and a to from list that will identify each component and the wire that's being used to connect each connector. We'll see that everything is ballooned for my drawing and I'd have to do a little bit of cleanup work to get this organized. But I can also see down below that I have a to from table with the length of every wire inside my harness, including the color and the connector it's going to, as well as, as well as a bill of material for my entire harness, including all my connectors and all the wires being used inside the harness. I can go ahead and create a project drawing back in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic and have a completed drawing set for this harness design. I hope, you, I hope you found this tip useful and that you check back next week for another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.